So last Sunday, I was a visitor at a nearby church and I'd seen this church previous time, but I never went. So I went to visit. And that Sunday, there was a one of the members. She's also like a she has a doctorate degree, I believe, in the community. And she's also she's very well known. She's very well known. She's the Maya Angelou of this area. And I think if other people knew her, like just in general, she's very wise. She's smart. She's articulate. And one of the things that she mentioned was that she's still poverty she's still struggling she's still struggling and it's like how could why is it that we see so many people in the church with degrees and background you know highly educated why are we seeing them struggle and i remember going into prayer and i asked god about it and one of the things that came up to me was um ephesians 1 3 and i'm going to read it to you really quickly so there's like three parts to this so ephesians 1 3 says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavens in Christ. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. So every single blessing that we are to ever receive in life is in heaven right now. It's in heaven. And this is, this brings me to the next part. So right here, Daniel chapter 10, verse uh, 12. We'll start at 12. And it says, so this is when Daniel goes on the fast and he's waiting to hear from God. So Daniel said, so the angel says to Daniel, don't be afraid, Daniel. He said to me, for from the first day that you purposed to understand and humble yourself before your God, your prayers were heard. I have come because of your prayers, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia opposed me for 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me after I had been left there with the kings of Persia. So this says like the communication, the release, there's, there's, there's a battle and fight going on for the blessings, for answers, for results. There's a fight in the spiritual realm going on right now. And so I, I further ask God, I'm like, but still, like, I understand that. But these people are praying. They, they're like, you know, they're worshiping like day and night. Because every single person I know in the church that is not, that's really, really not having like, I don't want to say they're not having a great experience, but they have a lot of woes and they verbalize the woes that they have. God then revealed to me, James 4, 2, you have not because you ask not. Sometimes the things we ask for are so little. Lord, just help me pay this light bill and that's it. I just need to pay this light bill and that's it. Or Lord, just help me help me put gas in the car. That's it. That's it, Lord. Now, I'm not saying you should go out there and ask for a new G-Wagon. I'm not asking and say go ask for a mansion on the beach. I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we serve a big God. And because we serve a big God, he, he wants to give us the kingdom. He literally says he wants, it's his desire to give us the kingdom. It's his desire. But first, we have not because we ask not. And our blessings are already ours. Like the things for us are already ours. They're predestined for us, but they're tied up in heavens. And a lot of times there's there's something blocking it. It could be a witchcraft. It can be a witch. It can be um, generational curses. It can be anything, but they're tied up right now. And it's being blocked right now. And this was the answer to why there's so many people struggling in the church, because we're not praying for the release of God's spiritual blessings that he's already give that he's already given us, according to Ephesians 1, 3. We are not, we're not praying for that release. And this is not some prosperity gospel. I'm not here to say, you know, like, you know, name it and claim it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is in it's in the book. So pray about it ask the Holy Ghost to reveal it to you if you have if you don't resonate with this but I ask God this question this is what he revealed to me and we have to be intentional for the things we ask for we serve a big God we have not because we ask not we ask for little things and we receive the little things we ask for and if you notice the people that are asking for these things that are in the church are asking for God just help me with this help me with that even the little things like he's helping he's fulfilling each and every single one of those but if he they would ask you know like Lord like expand my border Lord, like use me to the max, Lord. Use me to you know, spread your word, Lord. Prepare me so that I can I can do great things in your kingdom, Lord. Like if you would like ask for big things, and it doesn't have to be those things specifically, but if you would ask for greater things, then God would give you those because it's his desire to give you the kingdom and that is his word so i really hope this video was helpful for someone if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see similar content subscribe and i will see you guys next time blessings